hi everyone i hope you're all doing well welcome back to my channel and welcome to a weekly vlog video okay so it is tuesday the 18th of august i am up i'm ready i had a lion this morning i slept in until half past nine which was really lovely um but now i'm behind on all my work i had a really rubbish night's sleep last night that's why i thought I'll just lay in and like wake up naturally so I did um, and now I'm li a little bit behind I've got a little bit of filming to do today I'm actually doing some sort of content creation which I don't normally do um, but I'm creating some PR videos and advertising videos for a phone case company which is exciting but the clips are like unedited clips I have to send them so it takes me quite a few times to get it right whereas when I'm editing like my own youtube videos i can just cut out if i mince my words or um if i pause or whatever i can just edit it out but obviously because i'm sending this to another company and they are editing it it can be a little bit difficult sometimes so yeah i've got that to do i also need to shoot a little bit of that outside so i'm praying that the weather holds up because it looks so rubbish um it was so lovely last week proper heat wave here in the uk and now it's literally just been thunderstorms every single day so I'm hoping that there's a dry spell this afternoon and I can get that done. Um, if not, I think tomorrow is going to be dry, so I'll just have to do it then. And then I am taking my car for an MOT this afternoon, so that's exciting. I really hope it passes. Um, as far as I know, there's nothing wrong with it, um, but what do I know? I'm not a mechanic. So I'm just going to get this filming done um, and then I'll have some breakfast and... Yeah, that's pretty much it for today and then I've got some other bits going on later in the week so I thought I may as well vlog. I haven't done one in a while so I better get on with it because I've already said I'm very behind schedule. Hello everyone, um, welcome to a little interlude in Tuesday. I'm, um, it's actually Tuesday morning right now and I'm going to film the intro to the vlog um, a bit later like when I'm more presentable but I just wanted to include this little section in the video because i have some exciting new products to show you i've just had a bath um, as you can tell and i'm just gonna brush through my hair now um before i put a hair mask in okay that's gonna take forever let me talk about the products first so i have two new products from a brand called nano oil lovely packaging um and they sent me these to try and I've been using them for about a week now and they are brilliant. I'm going to pop the hair mask in first, um, which is this one. It's a keratin hair mask and basically these products are sort of like 100% natural beauty products. There's no colorants, no parabens, none of that sort of thing, just all natural so this is the hair mask, it's the keratin one. But basically all of their products are all in one, so sort of like skin, hair, nails, all in one, which is very convenient. So before I got this hair mask from Nano Oil, I hadn't used one in such a long time. Now that wasn't too bad because in during lockdown my hair was in quite good condition because I wasn't really using any heat or anything on it. But I recently got this new curling iron, which is great, but it means that I'm using so much more heat on my hair. So it's looking a little bit damaged at the moment. So I actually used this hair mask a couple of days ago. Well, three or four days ago. So it's tried and tested. Um, both the products I'm going to talk to you about are. I wanted to make sure that I'd sort of tried and used them first before I spoke to you guys about them and recommended them. But this hair mask is amazing. It leaves my hair so soft and shiny. I'm just going to put it on now actually a bit in the lid so I'm going to use that bit first and then let it sit for about 20 minutes half an hour and then um, just rinse it out but it just leaves my hair feeling super soft and shiny I love a good hair mask such a pick-me-up sort of thing to use because it just makes you feel like you've had your hair professionally done so this is the keratin hair mask as I said um, there is a few to choose from on the website but this one is specifically for um, repairing damaged hair. So as I said, mine is a little bit damaged at the moment from all the heat that I've been using on it. So I just feel like it needs a little bit of um, a refresh. It needs a bit of shine into it. It just needs something to freshen it up. I have a lot of hair. Um, 
My hair itself is actually quite fine, but I have a lot of it. So I need a lot of the mask on there. And this is a giant pot, so this is gonna last me so long. And it's super affordable as well. That's that pretty much all on. So as I said, I'm just gonna let that sit on my hair for about 20 minutes and then just rinse it out. And last time I used it, it gave such a glorious shine. So I'll do that and then I'll probably um, show you my hair once it's blow dried as well. So you can really see the result. So that's the hair mask on. I just fancied giving myself a little bit of a pamper and, and I really wanted to share these Nano Oil products with you. So it says on the packaging that it restores shine and strength, rebuilds damaged hair structures and enhances the beauty of hair. So that's definitely what I need. It needs a bit of a, a refresh and I need to sort of rebuild the healthiness I did have before I started using all this heat on it and damaged it. And also, like I said, huge size. So I know that is gonna last me a very, very long time, which is great. And then the second product that I have from Nano Oil is a face serum. And they have so many amazing face serums. They have a vitamin C one, which I think I'm gonna try because I've heard amazing things about vitamin C on your face. Um, but this one is the Aloe and White Tea. Again, beautiful packaging. So this is a face serum and I'm li just literally gonna pop this on. So I've already cleansed and moisturized and now I'm just gonna put a few drops of this on my face. You don't need much at all goes on so smoothly it's nice thin consistency i just pop this all over this is for all skin types as well this particular one it says that this moisturizes and revitalizes skin and it also um, helps with certain skin conditions as well but of course because all of the nano oil products are completely natural um, it's very very good for your skin so that's all I put on of that. And I've been using this every other day for about a week now and it's lovely. I'm really happy with the way my skin is. I have this spot scarring on my chin, nothing new. But my actual skin, let me just cover that. In this area, I think is looking really fresh, really bright, really revitalized. So I am quite happy with that at the moment. So the aloe in this is very nourishing, obviously, and the white tea is very soothing and it really lifts tired looking skin. So if you haven't treated your skin in a while and you feel like it's looking a bit tired, this is a great serum for that. It's also very hydrating. So it's a really great thing to put on before you go to bed because it's gonna keep your skin hydrated overnight. And it's also really smoothing of the complexion. As you can see on my cheeks and my forehead, my complexion is pretty smooth at the moment, which is great. There's nothing better than feeling confident and happy with your skin. I'm actually just gonna give my hair a quick brush whilst the mask is in it, because it's so tangled. I always use this um, wide tooth comb, it's from T3, um, just because I find if I use like a tangle teaser or um, a bristly brush on my hair when it's wet, there's a lot of tension um, and sometimes that encourages breakages in my hair. So I find that this sort of wide tooth comb is uh, really soft on my hair when it's wet. So those are the two products that I wanted to show you from Nano Oil, but there are loads to choose from on their website. These are just the two that I wanted to try in particular. I just feel like the face serum has got everything you need. It revives, it soothes, it helps with fine lines, hydration, everything you could possibly need in a face serum. This is just a really great everyday product um, that you can use constantly on your skin and you know it's giving you all the right nutrients and doing all the right things. And then the hair mask as well, as I said, my hair is a little bit damaged at the moment and I just wanted a little pick me up for it and this is amazing. I love using hair masks. I need to get into a routine of doing it more often, which. I feel like I'm definitely gonna do with this one. I will wash it out and show you what my hair looks like afterwards when it's dried as well at some point. Um, I think I will just blast it with the hairdryer on a cool setting maybe, just so you can actually see the shine that I get from this mask because it's incredible. I will leave all information and links and everything for these Nano Oil products in the description box so you can go and check them out if you would like to. But yeah, they are tried and tested here and I love them. I just started to get ready and then realised I hadn't shown you my hair. So obviously I've rinsed it and blow dried it and it's so soft and shiny. I don't know how well you can see it, but it looks really, really nice. It's got that sort of salon finish. Look at that shine there. 
yeah so pleased with it and it just keeps this sort of like salon finish quality for a good few days so i know that i don't have to wash it again for like three days and it's gonna keep this shine and this like glossy sort of finish I obviously do have like that bit of breakage at the front but it's just really boosted it giving it a little bit of a lift revitalized it um and like I said, that's going to keep me going now for the rest of the week. It's got no like other products or anything on it. I've literally just blow dried it with some cool air um, and that was it. So I'll probably run some oil through the ends later. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to finish getting ready now and do my filming. So I have done some filming that I had to do. I've taken some pictures and I've just dropped my car off at the garage for its MOT. So fingers crossed it passes um, and now I'm sat in my favourite chair in my favourite tracksuit and I'm about to um, do some admin, reply to some emails and um, edit the pictures that I took today. Actually turned out to be such a nice day, well I say that, it was just tipping it down a minute ago but it's so sunny right now, it keeps going from one to the other, one minute it's raining, one minute it's sunny which is very very strange. But I'm hoping that it stays nice for the weekend because I'm actually heading up to London for the first time post COVID. So I did go to London a couple of times right before like end of February time. Um, and yeah, obviously I haven't been since. I haven't really needed to, to be honest. I haven't had anything that I've needed to do up there. But I'm going to see my friends and we're going to Lost in Brixton, which will be nice. So yeah, I'm hoping that it doesn't rain then because that'll be so inconvenient. I need to decide what I'm going to wear because I find that really challenging to dress for temperamental weather and I find it hard to dress nice but comfy. I feel like I've just forgotten how to dress a little bit um, because I've been living in joggers for so long. So I actually need to plan an outfit for that, um, which is one of my favourite things to do. I love planning outfits. So I'll probably do that at some point this week. But yeah, I'm just going to get on with my admin and my editing now and then go and pick my car up in about half an hour. Good morning, so it's Wednesday and I was going to get up this morning and do a workout but I just felt like my body was a bit lethargic so I'm going to leave it like an hour until I've woken up a bit more and then I'm going to do one. I put the Tan Lux face drops on my face a little while ago and I'm trying to hide it but I'm not doing a very good job and like they've like clung here and so it looks like I've got a moustache <laughs> so I'm gonna have to try and sort of scrub that off or maybe when I put foundation on it'll even out but I think that's telling me that I need to um wax here on my upper lip um anyway just ignore that for the time being I'm gonna do my nails now um, and I've got a new colour that I'm going to try. This is the colour, it's called Naked Native, um, CND one from Shellac. Hello. Um, so I'm going to try that because I have a white on my nails for like the last six weeks. So I'm going to try something different and do a nude. Um, and I'm actually watching Inside the World's Toughest Prisons and it's only like it's not even nine o'clock yet so that's quite heavy for first thing in the morning but um i feel like i've exhausted everything on netflix and um i love prison documentaries so i just pop that on and i really enjoy it i've seen the other seasons but there's um, a new season season four that i haven't seen so i'm going to watch that um whilst i do my nails so this is everything that i use uh, the light is actually old um and no longer available on amazon but i will link um the polishes and the top and foundation coat that i use um even though i have done my nails on here before i'll just link it all again for you because i'm a good youtuber but i used to get my nails done um like every three weeks but now since lockdown i've discovered how to do it myself so i'm just going to carry on doing that until i get bored of it basically by the way i just put this magazine down um so i don't get nail varnish on my worktop <laughs> done not too bad i don't think for an at-home jobby i really love this color it's a really nice like pale pink um nude color so i'm very 
pleased with that bright hands not too bad either so i just popped on some cuticle gel and some hand cream um, and i'm going to try and use my cuticle gel um, on like a daily basis because i find that really helps with the dry skin and to keep them looking fresh anyway now I'm going to do a workout. Um, this set, by the way, is from Gymshark, obviously. Um, but I don't know if it's still available. I will link it down below anyway, just in case. Um, but I really love the colour of it. I would have worked out outside, but it is tipping it down. It's another horrible day today. I'm quite chilly in the house, so I'm going to do a HIIT workout to warm me up. And this is what I'm going to do. I have these all saved on my notes. And then I just put whichever one I'm going to do in bold so I can see it better. And then the app I use is this app, um, which is just called HIIT, I think, on the App Store. And basically, as you can see, you just put in the amount of reps, the amount of rounds, how long you're doing it for, rest time, um, and it just times it for you. I can't remember if I've shared this on YouTube before, but I've shared it on Instagram before, and a few of you messaged me and said um, about how much of a lifesaver this app was, because you were setting loads of timers um, and alarms and that sort of thing, and that's exactly what I was doing before I found this app. So it's really handy and then I just flick through to see these exercises um, if I forget which one I'm doing next so I always note them down in my notes um, and I have quite a few in here. Yeah, I'm going to get on with it now. Hi everyone, so I am dressed and ready, I had a shower um, and done my makeup and now I'm just ready to pop out. It is tipping it down with rain, hence the uh, mat. This is an old trench coat from Topshop that is very creased, so I'm just going to quickly give it a steam before I leave. But um, I just wanted to show you the outfit. So I actually got this trench coat back in beginning of March, I think it was, and never really got to wear it because obviously then lockdown happened and I didn't go out and then it was sort of too warm to wear trench coats and that sort of thing. So um, this will be its like a second ever outing and it was a really expensive trench. It was like... £99 I think um, and it's lovely it's got these tie sleeves a uh, really nice belt it's just a really nice good quality mat and the creases are kind of ruining it so I'm just gonna hide them I've just got a plain black vest top on underneath and then I've got these Topshop straight leg jeans on which I absolutely love they're so comfy they're like a really soft stretchy denim um, so they're really good to like eat in and obviously my Axel Arigato trainers and then I've got my black Gucci crossbody which I haven't worn in so long because obviously I got my black sac de jour and they're quite similar but it's raining and I didn't want to get my sac de jour soaked so I thought I'd take this bag as it was sort of slightly more affordable so I don't mind as much if it gets wet but basically I'm just popping out to run some errands uh, pop into town get a few bits um, and hopefully maybe have something to eat. I think we're going to do maybe the eat out to help out at one of those restaurants. Um, I haven't actually done that yet because I've only been out to eat a couple of times and each time I have been, it's been at a weekend and obviously you can only do eat out to help out Monday to Wednesday um, and today's Wednesday. So yeah, we might do that. Not entirely sure though. It just sort of depends how much time we have. Um, but yeah, I just thought that I would quickly show you what I'm wearing as it's a very rainy day outfit. There'll be lots of transitional dressing and colder outfits to come, which is actually my favourite. Autumn and winter fashion is way more my thing than spring summer, so I am very excited for all of those kind of outfits. And I actually have a transitional haul, transitional outfit sort of video coming in the first week of September, so keep an eye out for that. So yeah, I'm actually going to go and brave the rain now. Hi everyone, ignore the state of my room. I've just filmed a reel for Instagram. I'm still getting to grips with this new feature. Um, it's kind of like a TikTok style video thing, um, but I've just filmed an like everyday transitional outfits one. So I'm gonna pop that up in a second, um, but this is why my room is so messy and I've pushed my, um, bed all the way across so I've got the monumental task of trying to move that back. I've still got this dark patch here on my face from the tan. Um, yeah it's now like quarter past twelve I think so I'm going to tidy up my room, maybe have something to eat, maybe not um, and then pop out and see Scott and we might go for a drink or something. The weather's really nice today you can probably see my room is quite light and bright so um, the sun is out and I want to enjoy it because I'm not sure how much longer that's going to last. I keep forgetting to pick up my camera um, this week. I don't know why like there were so many things that I could have shown you like I went out for 
pizza yesterday and had a nice little drink um, and I just forgot to vlog it. But hopefully I'll get some more interesting footage for you before the week is out. Um, we're actually making a paella tomorrow night so that'll be nice. I'll definitely show you that. Um, I've wanted to do it for so long. I wanted to do it when we had the heat wave and we couldn't get a saffron anywhere. Uh, we really struggled to find the ingredients so we've had to wait but we got some in our Tesco delivery the other day. I'm going to do that Friday night and I'm going to pretend that I'm on holiday in Marbella. So I am just off out and I thought I would quickly show you my outfit before I go. This is one of the looks I actually featured on my reel and I liked it so much and I thought it was appropriate for today because the sun is out but it's still a little bit windy it's, there's a little bit of a chill in the air so I've got on this blazer which is from Zara I got it last year so this exact one is not available but there are two very similar ones on oh, the tractor there are two very similar ones currently online Sunny's are jewel boutique um, this ring is actually new from a jewelry brand called Sistina I believe they're called focus just this gorgeous gold ring i'm in love with it and then i have on this dress from zara super oversized super slouchy really comfy and loose fitting nice for a hot day like this but you also sort of feel covered up because i'm not a big fan of like shorts and short dresses um i just don't think they flatter me all that well so something like this is perfect for me on a summer's day and then i have my dad sandals from shein these are just super comfy, that's why I chucked them on. And then obviously my sac de jour, what else would I use? So this is today's outfit and I am just off for a drink in the sun. shot something very exciting for Jo Malone which I actually can't quite believe it's been a brand that I've loved for years and I'm actually working with them on their new campaign so they very kindly sent me their new fragrances this one and this one they're both incredible by the way and yeah the campaign that I've shot for Instagram will already be up by now so you can go and take a look at that at that if you would like to. My makeup's literally sweated off in the weirdest places because I was getting so hot whilst I was taking those pictures. Um, but as far as the rest of the day goes, I've not really got any more plans. We're making paella this evening, so I will film that for you. But that's it really. It's five past 11 and I'm already done for the day, but it's Friday, so that's good so I can relax have a nice chilled Friday and then tomorrow I'm off to meet my friends. The aftermath of trying to decide what to wear. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go for, show you my mirror, uh, this outfit, really casual, just my black premium mum jeans, my Shein sandals, black Zara vest top and my Missy Empire oversized blazer. Excuse the state of my face and my hair. Um, I'm just about to hop in the shower and give it a wash. I thought whilst I'm here, I'll just quickly show you some new bits that have arrived. Um, I'm just gonna show you these briefly because they will be coming in an autumn transitional sort of styling video. So I have this new suit from H&M. It's a short suit, so these are like collot shorts um, above the knee though. And then a nice oversized gray blazer. This is really creased though, so I need to give it a steam. That's why I say that in every video. <laughs> and then I have a new set from um, Adenola this really cute little vest top and then some dark grey leggings which I'm really excited about, I love their stuff, it's so comfy, so easy to wear, really stretchy, amazing quality so 100% recommend them. I wear these in a size small, both the um, vest and the leggings in a size small. And then I had a very lovely delivery from Sundar Bay which I'm really excited about it's this gorgeous set again this will be in the autumn winter styling video um, it's in this lovely chocolatey color it's slightly darker in person it's coming up quite like red on camera but it's not like that it's a really nice chocolate brown so it's sort of like this cropped jumper and then under here I just have some wide leg joggers to match um, oh and then I do have a vest top from there as well I was just um, trying this on so that's why it's over here but it's this gorgeous gorgeous vest top i um, have so many of these and this one is incredible quality it comes in some other colors as well so i think 
I'm gonna have to get a few more of these because it's amazing. I've got it in an extra small and it fits really nicely, super thick, just an amazing quality vest top. I can tell that is going to last me forever. everyone it's Sunday I'm back home as you can see I'm sort of hiding my face from you because I don't look amazing right now I am gonna spend the day on the sofa nursing a pretty sore head um, I'm just gonna relax and then we're having a roast dinner later I was just editing this vlog and realized that I didn't really end it properly so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and if you are new don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next Sunday with another video <laughs>